Patrol Master is introducing a new setpoint based control with offset feature. The newly added setpoint based control introduces a brand new concept of climate control for the HDS2 controller. It now features a single setting for each parameter being controlled. We have retained the ability to have unlimited settings for each day and parameter. The new settings will simplify the setting process for all main parameters including temperature, humidity, and CO2 settings. Take the temperature setting as an example. The original temperature system setting on the HCS2 separated the heating, cooling, and auto settings. Previously, when setting cooling devices, if a user enters a cooling setpoint of 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the default dead bend is 3 degrees, the cooling devices would activate at above 70 degrees and lower the temperature by 3 degrees dead bend and turn off at 67 degrees. The dead bend is implemented to prevent frequent on-off. Users also know that by entering 70 degrees, that is the maximum temperature allowed before the cooling devices will turn on. For the heating devices, and with a heating set point of 67 degrees the heating device will be turned on if temperature goes below 67 degrees and shut off at 70 degrees. In this example, 67 degrees is the minimum allowable temperature before turning on the heating devices. Now all three of heating, cooling and auto settings are integrated into one temperature setting eliminating confusing multiple settings. Users are now able to adjust their desired grow room temperature by creating a single temperature setting. That means users can only set one temperature set point as their target set point, not the maximum or minimum allowable temperature. For example, with the new firmware, when users set 70 degrees as the grow room temperature set point, and the default dead band is set at 3 degrees. In this case, the cooling devices will be turned on if the temperature reaches 73 degrees and shut off at 70 degrees. The heating devices will be turned on when the temperature drops by 3 degrees to 67 degrees and shut off at 70 degrees. By making this simple change to our programming, the user is simply selecting a single target temperature they want to run their room at. The user only needs to enter their desired or target set points instead of the minimum or maximum set points which simplifies the setting process. The same program upgrade applies to the humidity and CO2 settings. In conjunction with the new setpoint based control, an individual offset setting is also added for each device to be controlled. The new offset setting allows the user to create multiple stages of control by assigning different offset or setpoints for each device. First, tap the device's icon to access the device's setting on the HCS2. Next, tap Enter to access the specific device setting page. You will then see a setting button in the upper right corner. Tap the button to access the advanced setting. The users can now set an offset value that deviates from the set point by using the scrolling menu. An example would be a room that has multiple AC units that can have each unit set at different offsets. To create different temperature stages, to activate and deactivate certain degrees apart from each other AC unit. For example, when a user would like to create staging control on his three AC units, he can set the first unit at zero offset, the second unit at two degrees offset, and the third unit at 4 degrees offset. When he sets 70 degrees as the grow room temperature set point, and the default dead bend is set at 3 degrees, the first AC unit will be turned on if the temperature reaches 73 degrees. If the temperature continually increases to 75 degrees, the second AC will be turned on, and the third AC will be turned on if the temperature reaches 77 degrees. The same applies to the humidity and CO2 control. This also benefits our calendar control function. The single setpoint based control setting simplifies the multiple day setting, makes it possible to use multiple control stages. And it is now easier than ever to share the environmental recipes between different HCS2 control systems.